Hi everyone, it's James here with Antelope Audio. Choosing your compressor, be it hardware or software, can be a challenge. Who said that you have to use a Fairchild on a vocal or an LA-2A on a bass track? And yes, while these are tried and tested tools that work really well, sometimes you want a proven, versatile tool that's going to work right off the bat. Well, fortunately, the audio world has such a compressor. And at Antelope Audio, we call it the Impressor. And it's available as a Synergy Core processor for the Antelope Audio range of Synergy Core interfaces. In this video, I'm going to show you around the emulation of this classic hardware and then show you how you can use it on pretty much all the key elements of your music, giving you just the sound you're looking for. So, let's dive in. While the new Antelope Audio Impressor looks a lot like a conventional hardware unit, there are some features here that are unique to our emulation. Starting in the middle, we have the input knob, which sets the amount of signal hitting the compressor. We then find the attack and release controls, and finally the output level control. Between input and attack, we can link two virtual units to create a stereo pair of compressors and change how the left and right channel behave. And between attack and release, we have the UK or one-to-one -one mode, which gives the compressor a very aggressive character. A bit like you get when you hit all buttons in on an 1176, but this time we're able to benefit from still being able to change the compressor's ratio. Under the gain reduction meter, we find the true bypass button. Then, in the bottom left, we can scroll through the eight different compression ratios with their different distinct tonal attributes. Everything from a warming one to one to the amazing 10 to one opto setting, which is great for vocals or bass, all the way to the brick wall smack of nuke, which is amazing for room mics. Next to this, we find the detector circuits with variable high pass and band pass filters to help stop those evil pumping effects that compression can create. Finally, we have a button to engage one of two different types of harmonic distortion. Think of second as tube or valve saturation, adding multiples of the second harmonic, and third being more like tape saturation. Lastly, we also have a clip light so we know if we're overcooking things. As I said, the Impressor works on just about everything, so let's try it on everything. I've added the Impressor to my kick drum bus, my snare top, my overheads. I've also got it on my Keys Master, Guitar Master, Bass, and the lead and backing vocals. So I can show you just how versatile this thing really is. One by one, I'll dial them in to get me a fat sound that really works for this modern pop rock synth-led track. The song is called Parallel Universe, and it's by British artist Benjamin Bloom.
In a parallel universe, our paths are separate. In a parallel universe, we never met. And though we thought our destiny is connected, there was someone else who took my place instead. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is a parallel universe as good as this one? I really hope you've enjoyed this video and that you can now see and hear just how amazing the Antelope Audio Impressor is and how useful it can be on pretty much any audio that needs either a little or a lot of taming with compression. Remember that if you want to find out more about the Antelope Audio Synergy Core range of virtual processors or hardware, head over to antelopeaudio.com. For now, my name's James Ivey and I'll see you again very soon.